you with the texting and driving coding of your spreadsheet. So now that we have the system analysis completed, I'm going to just look at my system analysis for a minute and then go to my spreadsheet. Knowing that visuals are really important for both myself and other people, I'm going to start with inserting the picture by making a drawing. Once I have the drawing open, I do want to start to add my car. And so I'm going to go up to this image search. And I do want to search the internet for clip art. A realistic picture would have too many distractions. So I'm going to do clip art car. I'm looking for more of a top view. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit. This one looks good. Click select. Now that's quite big, so I'm going to resize it. You can have it be pretty small, so that looks pretty good. And then I also need to get my pedestrian or walker. So again, I'm going to click search, clip art, walker. Go ahead and pick one that you like. I just want a simple one, so. I will take this one. Again, that's quite large, so sh shrink that down. I want to use most of it and align it. Okay, there we go. That's the simplest one. And now I need my distance vectors or distance arrows. So I'm going to select a line, choose arrow, and go ahead. I'm going to put this one off. To the left a little bit because I also need my distance while distracted reacting and breaking. I want to make that a little bigger so I'm going to do this line weight to four and maybe even color code that one to be blue. Now I also need to label this so I'm going to make a text box. I'll make it pretty big at first. D for distance and walker, I'm going to do command comma to subscript and go ahead and write walker. And I'm also going to rotate this and put it near the walker. Now to save myself, I'm going to actually copy and paste this arrow and I need three of them now, one for each of them. And shrink that down and since this is the distance of the car I'm going to change the color to red and again to save myself some trouble I'm going to label all of these but I'm going to copy and paste my text box just make it a little easier on me and then I got to go in there and select now it is vertical so it's a little bit harder so I'm going to go there, delete. This is distance while distracted. Nice. Now I got these both. I'm going to highlight them both and copy and paste them together. Line up those arrows. Shift arrow allows you to do a little better job of placing them right on top of each other. And I do got to make sure to label these and I'm going to grab this as well and just move it down so it looks evenly spaced. All right, and then I get these labels correct. This is distance while reacting. And this one is distance while breaking. good to go so I'm going to save and close that's right there oh nice now I don't like these lines behind it so a little hack that we can do is I'm going to expand a and then also go all the way down to here and shift click on row 38 for me and I'm going to merge the cells and so that'll just be one cell and now I have a nice white background 
in this next section of the tutorial, we'll talk about how to code the spreadsheet and look at distance while distracted. All right, the first thing I've noticed on my system analysis is that I have inputs, needed calculations, and distance outputs. So I'm gonna need B to write in, so I'm gonna give myself C as an input column. And we wanna draw people's attention to put something in, so we've already decided to use green. Then we have needed calculations. And we need those, so we've already decided to use yellow. And then distance outputs. This is very important, and so I'm gonna highlight that with red. Now I do wanna center these. So I'm gonna go and select center. And that needed calculation got cut off. So I have two options. I can go in and return, or I can do wrap text. I'm gonna click inside the cell and command return. We'll do that, that looks a little better. And I also want to center these. So I'm gonna again go up to here and vertically center them. That's looking good. All right, so let's go to distance while distracted. We wanna tell our users that this is that section while distracted. I want that big and bold, that's sort of a heading. And again, it's overrunning my columns. So I'm gonna go up between B and C, and I'm just gonna slide the cell and make it bigger. All right, from our system analysis, we know that we need to input the velocity of the car equal sign and we want to input that so I'm going to color this green to oh, too dark third one up and the velocity of the car is in meters per second and I'm doing that in column D now this velocity of car is a little too far over so I want to right justify that so it looks really close there we go that's looking better now we also need to put in time of distraction from our mini experiments and do the same thing. And that unit is seconds. And again, right justify. And then the last piece of this, the important piece is the distance the car goes while distracted. Well, again, that's a little long, so I'm going to extend this over. And that is actually a distance output. So that will be a calculation. I'm going to first color it red. And now I need to code it from my system analysis. I can see this cell is going to equal the velocity of the car up in C4. So I'll just click on it times the time of distraction, C6, and that is zero right now because we don't have anything in there. And so that, the units on that is meters. Now that looks a little wide to me. So I'm gonna try wrapping the text this time. I'm gonna go up here, text wrapping, and wrap it. And then also shrink this down a little. Shrink this one down a little. You just don't need them so big. Now they're a little closer, okay. In this next section of the tutorial, we'll go over distance while reacting. So I'm gonna give myself one little, I actually wanna kinda of line it up with my drawing over here. So I'm gonna go down all the way to here and go distance while reacting. Again, I'm gonna bold that, Command B. And I have very similar inputs again. Velocity of the car. Now, this is inputted, but it's also equal to the same velocity we put above. So I'm actually gonna put this in the input column, but then set this cell equal to C4. That will make it so my user only needs to enter it once. Again, that's in meters per second. And time of reaction. 
action equals that also is an input and they do actually have to input it so I will color it green in seconds and then distance the car goes while reacting that again is a calculation so I'm gonna color it red and put in and tell the computer what to do to calculate it. It needs to go and grab the velocity of the car and multiply it by the time of distraction. Again, that should be zero at this point. That'll later change. And I do want to go and right align all of these. Knowing that I was going to do it, I saved it to the end so I can do it just one time, getting a little quicker each time. All right, we have our last section. And this tutorial will now look at distance while breaking. So again, I'm going to kind of get down here close to where it is. Distance while breaking. And I'm going to click out of there and click back and bold it. And then once again, the velocity of the car before breaking equals and that again is just C4. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Return and also get my units, meters per second. Then we have the velocity of the car after braking. And from our system analysis and our just knowledge, we know that is zero. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. I think I actually put O, so I'm going to go back and make sure I put in zero meters per second. From our research, we have the deceleration due to braking. That's also an input, so I'm going to color that one. Deceleration is in meters per second, per second. Then from our computational thinking, we know how to find the time of braking. And that is a needed calculation. It's not a distance, so I'm not going to color it red, but we do need to calculate it. And as always, when we want spreadsheets to calculate something, we start with an equal sign. And then looking at my system analysis, I see that it's V final, that's the velocity after it breaks, minus the initial speed it had in this section, which is going to be, for me, C24, all divided by, oh, I'm going to add parentheses, whoops, I'm going to add parentheses around those two, and then I need to divide by the acceleration due to braking, which I'm going to go tell it to grab that in this cell here. Okay, it doesn't like that right now because it's zero. And then I'm going to do our final calculation for the distance while braking section, and that of course is the distance the car goes while braking. a distance calculation so again I'm going to color that red and then this is quite a long equation that we just figured out but again looking at my system analysis I can see that is equal to the initial speed so I'm going to go grab that times the time it was going that the time of braking the time it was going that during this section plus one half a t squared so one half I'm going to actually put in 0 0.5 times the acceleration times the time squared or we can just multiply it times time times time hit return that's nice okay I'm gonna go on to actually complete it so we need the 
At this point, we need the total distance the car goes. So I'm going to put that here. And just as we have on our system analysis, that is going to equal the distance while distracted plus the distance while reacting plus the distance while braking. And I need to color that red, and that's a really important one. So I'm actually going to even bold the answer. And I might even bold this one. I also want to write justify this. And I'm going to go a little bit lower because I know I'm going to put in the distance to the walker. So I'll go up and write justify everything so it looks good. And then here I'll put distance to walker. And that is going to be an input depending on the situation. And that is in meters. And now I realize I left off some meters on my distances over here as well. So let me go back. And the time we're breaking, that was in seconds. Okay. And the last thing we have is what will happen? So I'm going to write that what will happen? Question mark. And again, I'm going to write justify that. And I'm going to program my conditional if statement. So again, I want the computer to do something. So I'm going to start with the equals. If we found that the total distance the car goes, so I got to go find that. That's right here is greater than or equal to look it's a little different than math class you can do the greater than sign and then an equal sign the distance to the walker comma if that's a true statement we want it to output the text so i got to put it in quotes call 911 exclamation mark and then in the quotes comma and now if it's not the case what do we want we had you, you might want to yell, you need to be more careful, exclamation mark, and then close parentheses. All right, and we are now done.